You recognize oh, those buildings. Okay? They have tall doors. Tall doors because the Tartarian or whatever you call them, okay, they were giants. Sorry, what the fuck did you just say to me? Yeah, the, the Tartarian. Giants, guys. Giants. How's everyone doing out there today in the land of non-stupid? I apologize for ruining your Saturday with the dirt that is about to come. Space with a tiny sun. Hey, I'm FTF. You welcome back to the channel that does the stupidity what Justin Ryland did to his his own career, unfortunately. Because I fucking love Rick and Morty. I hope season seven is still good without him. I'm sure it will be. Um, have you all recovered from yesterday? Because I I probably haven't. I'm I'm still finding bits of my brain on, on the floor because it tries to escape out of my ear after talking to Jin. Um, <laughs> I, I had, it was a good, good stream yesterday and uh, especially with, with Tony trying to keep me in check. Sometimes that's needed because, you know, I like the dumpster fire, but uh, it can be helpful sometimes. Tonight, we are going over to talk to the illustrious Brother Sanchez and his crew um, as we prepare for the second pay-per-view debate that I have been invited to on the 25th of July. Um, now, as I've said before, I don't paywall my content. Um, it's not my debate. I've been invited to take part in it. And to watch it live, it's $25 a pop. However, um, give me a couple of weeks. Excuse me. Give me a couple of weeks and I will post it on my channel free of charge. So uh, if you want to watch it live, um, it's 25 quid, $25. But you know, if you're willing to wait a couple of weeks, I will post it for free um, from what I record from, from my end. So... Um, this is kind of just a, a pre-show thing, going over and talking to him and, and his crew, which uh, is always a lot of fun because they're a special, special breed over there. Uh, you know, very... Um, I mean, to call them stupid is like an insult to stupid people, if, if, I'm, if I'm honest. So, uh, <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Let's go over there and see what's going on, shall we? Hey, Brother Sanchez, how you doing? I can't hear anything. Can you hear me, Brother Sanchez? Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. No way. Hello. How are you doing? Hey, how you doing? Fight, uh, fight the flat earth, Craig. How, how are you guys doing? Thank y'all joining. Thank you guys for joining on my side. Craig, you got to start bringing some of your people. I know you like to be like this lone ranger and prove a point with your little handicap matches, but we want to beat up on some of your people too. <laughs> 
Hey, if if um, hey. If, if, uh, if you want me to post the the link in my chat, I'll, I'll do that, and my people can join as well. Um, you know, uh, yeah. But uh, you you understand how these things can get with multiple people, right? That it, it can get even more heated. And uh, as long as, well, as, long as you're worth... as long as you're cool with that going on, then I'm more than happy to to put yes, it out. You know, because here's here's the here's the thing. I'm gonna make a bet that the flat power side remains professional and respectful and decorum and and we're gonna see who break that first let me let me let me uh uh, uh mute up for a second and let everyone introduce themselves while my dogs go crazy uh, hey guys what's up? oh i'm sorry so right, let me make an announcement guys during all of my pay-per-view events we get the dogs out of here they ain't going there's no barking during no paid presentation of mine just to let you know but go ahead guys all right I, i'll just quickly start um i in my chat i have posted the the link to the the zoom call if you guys want to join uh in the fun um and you heard brother sanchez's challenge there let's see who can win um if, if you don't know me then um my, my name's craig i run the channel ftfe where i discuss the shape of the earth um and i have a lot of fun doing it and uh yeah i'm i'm always happy to come and have this discussion over here so thanks for letting me be here well well you know what i will say craig you've been 86 from a lot of flatter platforms so <laughs> flat power is kind of one of your last stands because we don't mind a little bit of you know turned up energy over here so you know you you've been 86 man around this mug man so a lot of flat earthers don't like to do what i'm doing but hey i don't i don't mind it man salutes to jaronism man for hosting our previous event and our upcoming yeah. event yeah, uh, everyone knows that jaronism and i obviously we we don't agree on the shape of the earth but um uh you know seriously he is the best moderator that i've had for for a debate um he, he's really really good at doing that and can remain extremely impartial so yeah i appreciate him doing it most definitely so you know you know guys uh it's gonna be a good event and this is what i meant to show you guys and we'll start we do got flat earth calendars let's clap it up for it <laughs> well mine's better i've got calendars of my cat hey man hey i, I like the cats i ain't gonna hate on that Th this but is I dave tell you what this is my cat dave <laughs> And that's your lip. So, oh, you, you. That's what your people is is able to uh, get for merch with you. That's all right. <laughs> I'm giving you ideas now. You got to have a picture of the cat on each month with a globe Earth argument that debunks the flat Earth. So, yeah. people on Craig's side, he's got to make y'all a globe Earth calendar. Each month, got to have an argument that debunks the flat Earth. I'm gonna take my calendar, put it next to his. And we're going to go month for month, argument for argument when he get his, y'all. Y'all got us. Y'all. Hey, you see what we got here, Craig? That's dope, huh? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure y'all grab y'all flat earth wall calendar. Visit the video description area and get your tickets to the debate. Shout out to everybody that's joining on my side. Thank y'all for coming. I'm going to drop the link again. Who's first? Who want to swing at Craig first? Uh, what what y'all got for him? Okay, we get hopefully we can get some look like we're getting globalists from his side on. It's gonna be lit today. We we have anybody from the flat side that wanna initiate the joint. Yeah, Daryl, I'm posting the link right now. <laughs> Silence. Okay, yeah, that's silence. Damn, that that is kind of embarrassing. I, I, I get it. Bro. I'm scary. I'm scary, man. You know. <laughs> nah, man, you ain't scary. They just, they, you know what? I don't think I normally get my side to start first without me initiating. So no, no problem with that. Um, I'll start with this. I'll present the smoke right here. Let me grab. I'm hearing a little echo. Yeah, there's a little bit of an echo coming back from somebody. Let me see. Kind Sean. N -O -E. Uh somebody just said I got and then I muted him. Uh whoever that was, let me get a mic check from you. Unmute yourself. 
Yeah, bro. So I got, I got kicked off for some reason. <laughs> how y'all doing? Oh, how you doing, Daryl? My bad. I don't know how what happened, but I apologize. Welcome back. Yeah, it's all What's right, up, bro. What's up, Craig? How you doing? <laughs> how you doing, doing Craig? Huh? Doing good. I, I do have a uh, question uh, Yo, for Craig. I'm curious to see how he would answer. Have you heard of Maddie Jordan, the guy that lives in Antarctica? Well, that's doing like a, a, a stay in Antarctica. No. Okay. If bro wanted to, I post a link to where he's staying at a base in Antarctica and he's kind of documenting every day by day on Instagram. And he has a video where he shows a 360 of the sun around Antarctica's base. I wonder how would you explain that? Well, that's because the earth is tilted towards the sun. That That's exactly what we expect. I mean, that is kind of something that wouldn't happen if the earth was flat and is only expected the earth is a globe tilted on its axis the way that it is. Okay, okay. Uh, I, that's what I assumed as well. Uh, I'm like a a flat earther, but this was my only cash question that no one seemed to kind of light on because it doesn't flip the flat earth model, but everything else does. Now, that is the generic question that, I mean, the generic answer that goes with that. So I'm yeah. curious to see if any flat earthers had anything to combat that. Well, it, it certainly matches the, what we expect on the globe. But if there's any flat earthers want to have a bash at it, please go ahead. Uh, yeah, I got one question. Go on. Uh, how do you guys uh, get around water doesn't bend? Well, water always bends. Yeah, but it not the way you think. It, it, what do you mean? Water doesn't bend think. like a ball. It doesn't. Water can't bend and turn into a ball. Well, so do you agree that can water can be a ball quite easily? You just remove all the forces, and it naturally forms a ball because of hydrodynamic equilibrium. Um, water isn't special. Yeah, but there's just a whole like, bunch of words. Like, can you show me an experiment? Because it's just a whole bunch of words. Yeah, I can show you. I'm experiments saying, can in you really space, show they, like in um, nature? Just, yeah, I can show so, you an experiment. Not in space. Not in space. Well, not in space, bro. On Earth, water. You're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so on Earth, water has the force of gravity, the, you know, the, the force that gravity creates acting upon it. Because water isn't special. Water is like all other matter and just reacts to forces that are acting upon it. Um, if you remove the acceleration due to gravity, then water naturally forms a sphere. That's why raindrops are round when they're falling towards the ground. So, um, so you're saying water bending drop? around oh, the hold earth hold is wait literally a, minute, a result of can gravity. I go, can I get him to Okay. Oh, hold on. He said something that I want to clarify. Are you basically <laughs> saying that earth's spin is what's keeping no. the water flat? No, gravity. Yeah, need... not, not earth spin. Gravity. Nothing to do with earth spin. Okay, so when we, <clears throat> like you said, when we get to space um, free from gravity, water will naturally make a spear, correct? It, yeah, the, you know, there's plenty of experiments I can show you in space with water, but uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even going there, and I'm gonna pass him the mic back. So Earth having gravity makes water have this level surface that flat Earthers are always talking about, correct? Well, well what, gravity makes water have a level surface compared to the globe. So, you know, level is okay. perpendicular to the I, center I just, of Earth, yeah. I just want everyone to mark that down and remember he said that. And now let me pass the mic back to uh, <coughs> the brother. I'm going to mute up. Sorry about that. No, you hey, good, Craig. Hey, uh, uh, Okay, I'm sorry. Are you, are no, you, I, I just wanted you? to ask him one more question, bro, then you can get yeah, it. Right. So basically you're saying Earth is a raindrop. No, because I'm, I saying asked you about has, I'm saying Earth has a very large gravitational influence that makes water the shape that it is on the surface of the earth and if you remove that right, influence so, okay. then water will naturally be a sphere okay so now you're getting into gravity now you have to like prove that theory as being gravity. a fact because I if mean, you're going to base it all theory, on gravity so, i mean yeah gravity isn't a theory well it's, it only it's, explains why it gravity. only explains why things fall though 
No, it doesn't. It explains that how mass attracts mass, not just why things fall. So, how, so why do things uh, float according to gra uh, gravity? Because how does that's, gravity uh, make because more than one force can exist at a time. And if, uh, for instance, a helium balloon um, has less mass in the same volume than the air does, and that means the air around it is pulled down with a stronger gravitational force than the volume of the balloon, which creates a force in the opposite direction that we call buoyancy. Um, it's, it's the same as so, you know, if you're in a car um, and you accelerate forward, you're thrown to the back of the car, right? You know, you're thrown into your seat. But if you've got a helium balloon in your car, when you accelerate, the helium balloon actually moves forward because the force of the air moving back, which is, you know, has more mass than the balloon, forces the balloon in the opposite direction. It's, it's the buoyant force, which is when uh, something goes up directly, a result of gravity. Uh, you got you, well, you got to show an example of that, dog. You got Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just, it's a whole bunch of words, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, really an example no of what exactly? What would, what would you like an example of? No, the helium. Would you just say the car yeah, is, the car was filled up with helium? No, no. Yeah. I, no I didn't you say the car was filled up with helium. Yeah, I said like if you're, you're in a car and you've got a helium balloon, when you accelerate with that helium balloon in your car, you will be thrown to the back of the car, but the helium balloon will actually move forward. Have you not seen that? But that's not based off a, re a real, like, that's not based off a reality, though. No, that's like, in you're reality. You're putting a helium yeah. in the car, bro. Yeah, well, yeah, like, that's, that's, that's in reality. That's, 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 like that's it. real. I mean, what do you mean that's not based that, in reality? That's that not happens reality, in reality. Well, I don't understand. Well. It, ha it happens in reality. So what way is it not reality? So this yeah, is your, got, so basically, this is your explanation of... <laughs> So, so basically, this is your explanation of how the water doesn't bend into a ball like no, the globe. That shows. was my explanation of the buoyant force. Oh, gravity. Well, the buoyant force that makes things go up is a result. So, so of gravity, gravity is buoyancy too. So gravity is gravity buoyancy creates too. buoyancy. If you look at the formula for buoyancy, uh, it has the gravitational acceleration as part of its equation. Um, what happens with right, buoyancy I'm saying, how is that... part of the predictions of gravity. Right, but that's that's not based off reality. Those are like well, no, that's in reality. That's not real. But it is the... reality. Is like when when you see a swimming reality? pool, when you see large bodies of water, they don't bend at but all. They're, they're measured to. Wait, have a and curve. gravity. Is, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you can understand me. Gravity is pulling down on the earth, right? It's keeping Gravity everything, is pulling everything on the earth. towards the center of the earth. Yes. All right. So, 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 how come it's not pulling like the clouds and stuff down? How come it doesn't pull birds it, down? How well, come it's not uh, pulling uh, the trees down? Well, it is. That's why uh, trees, for instance, when you know the branches break, they fall to the ground. Birds have wings, which are able to create a force <laughs> in the opposite are direction. You? Clouds, <laughs> clouds. Oh, God, uh, yeah, you know what? That's something my daughter would finish, say. Guys, like, let me finish. Let me finish. With, with no let me finish. Oh, please let me finish. Say, guys, please let me finish. Right? right? Clouds okay, fair, fair. are light enough that the buoyant force is, keeps them in the air, as well as wind currents and stuff. You know, so, keeping the, 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 the so, water vapor up. But once Craig, a cloud Craig, is heavy, oh, well, so let me finish what I'm country. saying. Hold on. Let me finish what I'm saying. Okay, go ahead. Once once the clouds are heavy enough, the force of gravity overcomes the force of buoyancy. Uh, it's it's all the predictions of gravity. A bird and what are you making wings. this? And what are you basing this off of? What are you basing this off of? Okay, uh, reality. So, man, so my thing is this, right? You're saying that it's gravity that's making water have a flat surface. We want to sum it all up. What you're saying? That's well, water what doesn't saying. have a flat surface. No, water doesn't have a flat surface. Water's surface is curved. I'm, I'm saying yeah. from the ground, we perceive it as flat. You saying we can only see a curve uh, ball. You saying we can only see water shaping into a ball from space, though, visually seeing it. So, yeah, because the Earth's very big. So, it, right. The, okay, the, the okay, water so on Earth, the, the curve of the water on Earth, like at the oceans or in a swimming pool, that curve on the water matches the arc of the curve of the Earth, which, considering the Earth is so large... The curve over a swimming pool is yeah. going to be what? tiny, 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 tiny. I, but it's I there mean, and but it's been measured. Well, uh, Listen, sorry, I, I didn't hear you because I was, I was still finishing my sentence, so I didn't hear what you said. I was saying, where does the earth curve? Everywhere. Mm. It's okay, been measured. So where wow. is the beginning of wow. the curve? 
Okay, hey, Craig, give, just give me one direction. I don't care the south, north, whatever. Give me one um, measurement of where it begins to curve at. Like, you know, give like me, into like, a ball. When the surface of the sphere always curves. Okay, no, so no, I got no, it. Give me a landmark of like an ocean. He's a not going to do it. He's not going to. Right. Because, exactly. right. Okay, well, guys, get a basketball and tell me where it starts to curve. Oh my God! Right. He's, he's right. not so going. Right. I can't listen. Yes. I can show you that. a basket. But you, but, but you could show me on a basketball okay, so where it so starts so to curve. No, you couldn't show me where it starts to curve because hey, a look, sphere does not have the yes, a start okay, of a curve. Wait a the whole minute. thing let, let is me, curved. Me, hold on, everybody. Stop. Hold on, everybody. You got <laughs> to take a different approach with him now. I wouldn't try to keep forcing it. Go another way. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is going to be this one. You just said that the earth is a basketball. No, I didn't. That's a per. You just said, didn't he just say, where does a basketball curve? Yeah, but exactly. I, I, didn't, I didn't want to say earth is a basketball, but they are listen, similar listen, shapes. We're not, we're, listen, we're not going to play these games, man. I'm not I'm not the one playing it. I didn't say that. Okay, okay. They're similar shapes. Well, listen, he does you keep, you keep to, hey, but I need to be able to talk, guys, without, you know. So check this out. I let you talk without interrupting you. Does Earth shape like a basketball? Because it was your comparison, not mine. I'm just yes, looking Earth is a similar shape to a basketball, definitely. Which is a sphere. Cool. A, 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 okay. a sphere, yes. Yeah. Okay, so is it an oblate sphere or just a sphere? It's an oblate spheroid. It's very, very, very slightly wait a oblate. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know little... how it can be them both. Look, I just don't, and I'm, when, I'm asking a question. I said Hold similar, on, not, similar, I'm, I'm, right? An wait, oblate wait, spheroid wait, wait, is wait, similar wait, to wait, a wait. sphere. You're moving too fast. You're talking over me oh, now. I've sorry, been sorry I, I apologize for moving too fast. I'm, I'm just trying to, that's why, yeah, trying to ask you something. Question is, this is NASA's image of Earth. I don't see an oblate spheroid. I'm going to ask you, is this an oblate spheroid? If it's a picture of Earth, then it's an oblate spheroid, yes. Oh, wow. You, so, see, you heard that answer. Y'all so, heard yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The picture right in front of you. Ask him yeah. one more time, Santa, so we can really. Me. Ask him one more time. I don't think he heard you. You talking too fast. Okay, he won't. Okay, so. Can, can, I, can I explain? So, 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 so hold on. I'm just going to ask you one more time. And yeah, you, you can do your thing. You know, we all know what an oblate spheroid is. We ain't going to even act like we're. Yeah, it's something you know, that's not a perfect sphere. Hold on, yes, hold on, hold on, hold sphere. on. Why do you got to cut people off? If you sure, if you got this, man, and you, you confident. Then okay, just, okay, you, sorry, carry you on, go carry back on. And forth. Cool, cool, cool. You got it, man. You ain't got to be all, you know, offensive. So the thing is here. You can go on and on and on about an imperfect spear all you want to out of your mouth. It means nothing because I'm not the one that produced the perfect spear. If someone asked me, Brother Sanchez, is this a perfect spear what I'm looking at? I would say, damn right, that's a perfect spear that I'm looking at. Now, you can if, there, if there's any imperfection in this picture that I'm seeing, it's undetectable to the eye. And that would mean it's, it's, you can't even bring it up for real. Because when with a, in the case of an oblate spheroid, it will be oblate enough for us to distinguish this shape from a from a spear. And that's what we have in, in geometry and math, that we don't say that these are the same thing. A spear is a spear, but if it's oblate, it's not a spear anymore. It's an oblate spear. And there's a way we can distinguish it without playing these games and cutting it so close. This is a spear. If I was in math class, my teacher would say, yes, this is a spear. And if we go to the next shape, okay, Brother Sanchez, that's an oblate spear. I want to know yeah. how you're going to make it one and the same. Where's the oblateness yeah. on this picture here? That's all. That's my question. Uh, around the equator. Okay. Um, so if I can explain I, I now. I see it. Well, well, that's, that's because your that's because your eyes aren't like uh, yeah, that's because your eyes aren't capable of seeing the slight oblateness. <laughs> oblateness yeah. doesn't How have do to you be able. See uh, wait, uh, uh, hey, I've just please. Right. I've just, can I can I talk for a bit without being interrupted? I, I did just let you talk for a while. So, um, <laughs> there's nothing about an oblate spheroid that says it has to be oblate enough for you to be able to see it with your eyes. Um, the oblateness well, what, of Earth. How would you uh, know? Uh, can I can I can I talk? Thank you. Oh, okay. The oblateness of Earth, if you were to express it as a percentage, is 0.33528% of the entire thing. 
That means that the equator has a 42 mile, um, it's 42 miles bigger around the equator than it is 40, than it is around the, the poles. There's a, then that's a tiny, tiny amount. So tiny okay. that you really can't see it with your naked eyes. Oh, gotcha, However, gotcha, that does yeah. not stop it being an oblate spheroid okay. because it's been measured to be an oblate spheroid. Uh, okay, okay, cool. Now, let me ask this question. Uh, now you're saying it's a spear. It's an mm -hmm. oblate spear. No, no, stop. Don't don't cut me off, man. It's this me. is what you've done. I ain't going to confuse I this, man. I didn't I say anything. This. Wait a minute. Wait I a was minute, drinking. Bro. Okay. Okay, sorry then, cool. Whoever that was in the background, that was probably from my side. Now that we've talked about the spear and the oblate spear, I have one more question before I let my people get it back. Is it a pear shape too? Can you squeeze this in? Because these are the three we, we you know, come from the astrophysicists, right? Spheroid, oblate spheroid, a pear shaped earth. Now let's see about the pear part. Can you find a way to bring that? into uh this equation right here go ahead i'll wait for that one and you guys can go on you did yeah, a so good job with the old blade okay. with the spear one now let's see if we can get incorporate this one here into this go ahead well a pair is also an oblate spheroid um and oh. similar to a pair the earth is slightly wider around the middle and slightly fatter <laughs> south than north just like a I'm, 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 I'm still talking. It's amazing. Um, so, so no, yeah. new people, new people yeah. are joining. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So they got a, a pair on. is slightly fatter at the bottom and slightly thinner at the top. And it is slightly wider around the middle. And that is the same as Earth. Earth is okay, you... slightly fatter on south than north and slightly wider around the middle. It. No one has ever said Earth looks like a pear. What Neil deGrasse no Tyson said, said, what, said, what, what Neil Tyson no, no said is, never, hold on, hold on, on I'm let me finish, yeah, please hold let me finish on, my on, point, wait, I'm wait, nearly there, I'm got, literally got, right got, at the I end, I'm question. right at the end, please, gotcha. right, um, all Neil deGrasse Tyson ever said was similar to a pair, it's slightly fatter around the middle and wider at the bottom, so no one ever said the earth is a pair. I got you. I ain't say yeah. they said. No one here never said that. That was never my question. I don't know why you did that. But anyway, moving forward, right? Um, you so, compare the Earth. Yeah, can I, I, I got, I got, I, I got you guys. Hold on. I got you guys. Please. So check this out. I just want to real everybody to realize something. He compared the Earth to a spear, which is what I'm saying in this image. And he he used the basketball for that. He compared the Earth to an oblate spheroid, which is, if you forgot what that shape like, is one of these. He's also compared the Earth to a pear shape, right? So, in my point with all of this, if I can speak without being uh, cut off, my point with all this is, how do you compare something to three things that are totally distinguishable from Just each other that. and make that one thing still uh, be what it is? Like it can't be ever, a cube can't be a doggone star, a flower, and only be you know what it is. Like my thing is, if you're telling me that the Earth is a spear, which is what they're telling me with this image, you're saying it's the oblateness is so minute, right? Mm -hmm. That is not even worth mentioning for real. And then when you bring up the pear shape. Like these are objects that have their own geometry. Shape, and when you try to give all of these attributes to this image right here, in my <laughs> opinion, using un honesty from what I'm saying, it just don't work. Because if I ask a person, right, uh, to compare something that shapes like a basketball to the basketball and they say a pear shape, I'm going to give them a D minus and I'm going to give the dude that said an apple a A plus. Because there, we're talking about three dimension, three dimensional spherical shapes. So, like to compare, like a basketball to a pear versus an apple or an orange. Like to me, that's kind of weird, uh, you know. But what I will do, I'll just pass the mic, and uh, I won't harp on that for, for too long. He answered it, so let's just move on. Y'all guys can can do what y'all right. do. Uh, I got a question for you, Craig. Yo. So. Um, among all the earthly forces, and what I mean by earthly forces, we have things like radiation, pressure, heat, and matter, most of all. 
and Earth is a closed system. You agree, right? Uh, technically, Earth is almost a closed system. Okay, so if it's a closed system, then any force which exists on Earth will affect all the other forces that work tandemly. I just want to know what? in your cosmology, um, um, how does gravity play a part with heat, matter, liquid, solids, um, magnetism, and pressure? How do these? How do they interact with these other forces of Earth? Um. There can be more than one force acting at a time. They, they, the gravity doesn't exactly interact because they with work other in tandem. Forces. No, not all forces work in tandem. Some forces work completely separate of others. And gravity creates one force, and magnetism is another force. They don't interact. So does does it does gravity interact with matter? Mass creates gravity. If there mass is ma if, if there is mass then there is a gravitational force towards the center of that mass. And you agree that mass is its own force? It's its own no, earthly mass force? No, mass is not a force. Um, force is mass times acceleration. It's mass times acceleration. That's okay. what force that's is. All my For, that's what force is. Force is mass times acceleration. Okay, that's all my questions. Is that it? Uh, um, so okay, yeah, am, I, am I just teaching a physics course or okay um, so so so, so no, i just wanted just to pick your mind to see where you are we, we, we're moving well. forward we can move forward we can move forward so my thing is this right here globalists say that uh objects with mass attract other objects with mass and i would say that that will work on a smaller scale too meaning that a human should attract certain objects with lesser mass than it you know what I'm saying? So if the Earth, for example, is attracting the moon, then um, things on the Earth, such as a mountain, that's a huge mass, right? It should attract smaller objects in, in, in mm -hmm. the same scale around it. Is is You know, that's a logical uh, observation. Excellent point. Um, a a absolutely excellent point, Bro Sanchez. And... Um... That is what we call the Shehelian experiment, which has been performed many, many times, where they use the gravitational influence of a mountain to cause a plumb bob to deflect, measure the deflection, and, you know, use that to actually weigh the world and calculate the gravitational constant. So, yeah, that, you are right. A mountain has a large mass and does attract smaller masses. But you have to remember that the attractive force is very, very small. So what you need to do is isolate <laughs> all other things so that you can actually see that effect. And have we ever done that? Yes, the Shehelian experiment. How can you isolate one force from the no, force man. of mass from another? You it, That's what you do in an experiment. In an experiment, oh, you try to um, get rid of any extraneous influences so that the, you, the only influence that's acting is the one that you are trying to measure. Or you if try Earth to... Is a system, wait, hold on, I'm still... Uh, I'm still go talking. ahead. Or you try right. to accommodate for the forces that are there um, and make sure that they don't affect the overall result of the experiment. Okay, then, so how do you counteract the whole force of Earth's gravity when you're trying to single out the force of one object on Earth? How does one do that? Well, um, the Shehelian experiment, for instance, the force of gravity um, with Earth, the, the mass of Earth, um, has gravity create a force that pulls the plumb bob down towards the center of the earth. Um, and if there is no other uh, force, forces either side, it's gonna be straight down. However, if you then put a large mass to the side of it, it, there's gonna be two masses acting on it. There's going to be the large mass of earth and the mass of the mountain, which is slightly smaller. And that will cause a slight deflection away from the exact downward force. I wanna With, see the experiment because just saying it don't make yeah, me, uh, uh, um, I don't really convince me. So uh, the, it, you, can, you can search up the Shehelian experiment and it was actually, uh, well, it was originally conducted um, you know, a, a quite a long time ago, but then it was uh, redone, I think in 1998 by a group of scientists. Uh, the Shehelian mountain is actually very close to where I live. And it's used because it's an unusually symmetrical mountain so that they, they, they are able to tell what the weight of it is to be able to calculate the gravitational attraction. Um, so, they, so if you would like to, to see the experiment, then um, it's, at, it's on YouTube plenty. You can just search up the Shehelian experiment. So 
so in this Shahalian experiment, they they took into account the Earth's gravitational uh, force, and did they take account into other things that materialize on the Earth, such as water, people, or the sun, or other celestial forces? Well, they weren't they weren't in the experiment, so there was no people or sun involved in the experiment. Yes, so. I I mean they have a gravitational pull. You're involved in the Earth in general. This is the yeah, whole thing of a the gravitational system. pull of a person. Um, it is going to be so small that other forces would would well, you know, be much well, larger. Than you. What you have to remember is that gravity creates a nah, force that, don't that make is. No sense. Hold it on, makes let, let me not. finish. What you have to remember is that gravity creates a force that's proportional to the product of two or more masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. That means the bigger the mass is, the the bigger the attraction, and the closer the distance, the bigger the attraction. A mountain so is much, much, okay, much okay. larger than a okay, person. Okay, so, so, so my it thing has a measurable is, influence. If a mountain can affect a plumb bob, right, it should be able to affect a mosquito, a gnat, a fly shouldn't even be able to take off off of a mm. mountain when it lands. Like, no, they've, on they've it. got wings. Uh, wings that create a force in the opposite I, 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 direction. I, 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 I understand that, but the mountain yeah. has pull. It has pull. Yeah. Like, that's my thing, right? I, I understand yeah, it has wings, but if I got what, pull that's, that, that's stronger than your wings in the case of the well, mountain... It's not stronger than the I force created mean, by the wings. That's the thing. The, so the you're wing, telling me that... The wings oh, create on, a larger not, force, oh, yes. Hold on, hold on. You, you've been very disruptive, but it's okay, it's okay. Sorry, it's I was just responding to your question. I apologize. My, my, my thing is this. You're, you're saying that a mountain has enough power to affect the plumb bob and that would be the same amount of power that you would need to just make sure that a, that'll be the same amount of power that you need to make sure that a little gnat won't be able to fly off you. I know you saying it got wings, but them some little bitty wings and that's a big ass <laughs> mountain. Now this yeah. mountain, uh, okay, hold sorry. on, hold on, sorry. I'm still going. You cleared your throat through most of my stuff, so I just hear me out at the end of it. I, I was hitting a bone. So my, Dig it in a little deeper, Jay. So, so my thing is this, man. If this mountain can affect a plumb bob, ain't no way a gnat finna fly off of it. Now, you can say he got wings, but you just describe enough energy that I know a little gnat can't. If it can pull that plumb bob, the gnat don't stand a chance. The plumb bob weighs stronger than the gnat. Don't tell me that gnat's little wings finna overpower this mountain. Don't you do that, Craig. I'm gonna see if he do that. Okay, so um, what you have to remember that gravity is affected by not only the mass of the mountain, but the mass of the other thing as well. A plumb bob oh, wow. ha is has just a said much- they work uh, separate. You no, said they work I, separate I, I didn't. each other. I, I didn't say they work separate. What you have to remember is that it's the product of two or more masses. So a plumb bob, the bob weighs a lot more than a gnat. So the gravitational attraction between the plumb bob and the mountain is going to be a lot more than the plumb bob and the, the gnat. Also, the gravitational attraction that moves the plumb bob is okay, very, wait, very, wait, very... Me, hold on, let me finish. Let, let me, the, let me the, the plumb please. bob... Let me finish for one sec, please. The plumb bob divergence is very, very, very small. It's not like it's pulling off at 45 degrees... You know, it's arc seconds. It's a tiny, tiny amount that you have to have a very accurate experiment to be able to measure. The force of attraction is very tiny. However, a gnat is even smaller than the plumb bob, so the force of attraction is even smaller. So the wings of the gnat create more than enough force to counter the gravitational attraction. Okay. Okay, so, so wait a minute. Okay, uh, yeah, this I'm about to get it straight with you. The heavier the thing is that I put near the mountain, the stronger the pull of that the mountain is really acting on it. And some yes. like a feather, the mountain is like, nah, that's too light for me to. So uh, you there will be a yeah, there there'll be less of an attraction, yes, wait, between wait, a feather. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're saying mass attracts mass. Mm -hmm. And when you say that, that is very vague. That's saying just mass, like a feather is mass. Why wouldn't yeah. the mountain being, being mass attract that? So my thing is this right here. I think everything you just said is a bunch of baloney and it makes it's no sense. It's not vague. Oh, He's got a formula. Wait, wait. He's got a formula don't, don't on let screen, me so it's not vague. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Chill out, everybody. We don't want a shit show. We're we, we going to turn up, but we still can let each other talk. So my thing is my opinion, this is a bunch of bullshit. 
the Shahelian uh, experiment is something that it isn't even recorded, man. Like we yeah, should it's... have this on bit. No, I want to visually see this thing. Okay, like, I've I got, I've got a video of it here. Somebody, right? Yeah, I've actually got a video of it weighing the world. Here we go. So this is them Mass. performing the Shahelian that... experiment. And the this is them performing uh, the Shahelian experiment. Masculine could have done his this way. I'm sure he would have okay. the, the 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 key Let's reason why he, so he didn't is he didn't have lasers. To, uh, uh, in, in order to get the timing accuracy. Debate. Um, you know, we're talking about sure. microseconds. And just so you know, none of that proves so they don't can, prove the, So we can beat up on it. No, it doesn't, man. It so, does, it, here's them discussing the experiment. It's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo to me. Well, that's good person. You, 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 yeah. you know, yeah. you know what? You know what? What's happening yeah. is this right here. They're making gravity a god-like intelligent force that knows when to act and when not to act based on the thing that is acting on and there's not too many forces in nature like that man well actually you know magnetism that, acts that, kind of that, very that, similar that, that, that actually magnetism is the is is the uh repulsive and attractive force yeah. and it doesn't hold on wait a minute it doesn't act like it has an intelligence right there are certain frequencies when you when you start studying magnetic energy fields whether magnets attract or repel is something we can definitely prove with experimentation and all that. The whole thing about the globe earth and all of this and how gravity works as far as mass attracting mass, that's something that people say you can only prove in space. Then they still look for experiments to do on the earth to do on the earth. So my thing is is all contradictory. It's 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 a bunch of claims that's being made. And you're saying, well, this experiment proves the claim, but the experiments mm -hmm. are buried in obscurity. And when you so, present the experiments, we start uh, finding all kind of flaws in them. Like they're on YouTube. Even... Blue Marble yeah. Science has got a whole video on the Cavendish experiment demonstrating let, let, visually let, to let, you let, let, let gravity, Craig, what gravity does. Let, let Craig uh, res respond and uh, you can have it. Right, yeah, the, the, just the, that. This is the rumpus. He, he's he's a, he's um, someone great from my side. So after I've explained okay, this, cool. I, I'd, I'd love for um, him to have a discussion with some of you guys. So uh, what you said for about sure. there isn't other forces that are similar is is factually false because if we look at the universal law of gravitation, it's in structure exactly the same as Coulomb's law, which describes the electromagnetic force, um, which very much like gravity is um, dependent on the the mass of objects and you know, the distance between them. You know, they they describe like, the only difference is that the Collins charge, the, the charge, describe, yeah, the charge, Craig, sorry, not, yeah. The, not, not, yeah. not the mass. Sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah, the, the, the charge and the distance between them. The only difference is that Collins law can so, describe so wait a, a minute. Re, an attractive and, and repulsive force. Hold on, hold on. But it let me, does let me the same thing. That. Describes the let me, same let me kind of thing. What, what Rumpus what Rumpus said. Rumpus, are you saying that? Unlike gravity, it's not distinguishing by mass, but by charge, correct? That's the difference. Electrostatic okay, um, I got you. That's attraction all I need is know, based on I wanna, charge, I wanna and make a point. gravitational attraction is based on mass. Oh, I don't know why y'all like to do that on purpose. Like, yeah, like, do like what on purpose? On, on, on purpose? I gave you a very you clear answer I'm, try, I'm trying to make a, uh, get to my point, I'm, I'm, and you guys know that. You can be, it's a yes or no uh, answer, but it's all good. I ain't going to trip on it. Here's what I want to say about electrostatic. Watch this, guys. Baloney. Just science. Watch this. Here's an example of electrostatic. Right? Molecules look a little bit like Mickey Watch Mouse. this, guys. Show you something. The two hydrogen atoms are bunched up on one side. I don't want to get no strikes. I just want you to see the example of the shit in action. Boom. Mm -hmm. So now, 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 I don't need no mm -hmm, Let me mute everybody. I just want to say what I want to say, and I'm going to let y'all do the same. Gravity, y'all saying, is a force that pulls down. Electrostatic force pulls anywhere it want to pull. So he, gravity explains why things fall down. It was created with the apple falling out the tree, which is a bunch of <laughs> craziness. But anyway, what's happening is this, guys. There's an electromagnetic energy field around the object that's approaching the water. And so that the water is showing you is basically conforming to that field. It's a it's it's is not visible, but it's physical. It, it exists in the physical spectrum, just like no different than the Mac, uh, the, the levitating devices that they got today. Right. Let me show you some. 
They got um, all kind of. Uh, I don't need to be interrupted. That's why I muted. Oh, everybody. sorry. I thought I thought you'd finish. I, I, I apologize. Yeah, man. I'm gonna let you know when I'm finished. Don't do that. I'm gonna say out of my mouth, I'm done. So we don't have this problem. So check this out, right, y'all? Just like you got objects like this, this levitating uh, art that they doing today. You can buy this stuff. So ain't no pulling and pulling going on here. And that's what they need to happen with gravity. The truth is that there's an electromagnetic energy field around the object and the object is sitting upon that. And because that field is invisible, right? It appears to make the thing levitate. You know, I can raise this rock up and I ain't pulling it with any force. You know what I'm doing? Expanding the energy field. And as the energy field gets bigger, the thing levitates higher. So this ain't nothing like gravity. And look, guys, he will not. He just can't control himself. But you know what? I hear him in the anything. background. I, I wasn't talking about you. Is I anybody else to allowed to speak? But, but, but see, you know what, man? I'm about to kick dude off because oh, I've on. been uh, nice to him. Now your boy got to go. It's just oh, me on, and give, you. Give him a chance, please. Give him a chance. Well, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to put his ass in time out for three minutes just to let them know I'm very strict. You ain't going to blurt out on my shit and be disrespectful because all of my people are on mute right now. And I told Craig that you ain't going to bring these barbarians over here with their uncivilized ass. All of my people acting good. At, look at them. They muted up. They let me go. So, boom, I, I, now I'm going to let him see if he could control his childish ass and be respectful. I knew your side would be the first ones get disrespectful. Now, I've been a damn good host. I'm letting everybody talk. I'm just trying to explain my argument in detail so that you can know where I'm standing so that you can even argue it back legitimately. Okay. I mean, but you haven't said no one first, is like, so, I mean, I'm just, just saying. Well, no one on my side interrupted nobody. It's only been me talking, so that's a lot. Okay, so like I was saying about like I was saying about the energy field, because you're not gonna pull this. I'm not letting you talk crap, right? I'm letting everybody talk. It's just my turn to talk, and you don't you don't want me to finish. I'm barely even getting the mic. I'm letting my people debate you guys. So every time I make a good point, y'all bitch and cry talking about some you're not allowing me to talk. Bro, that kind of behavior going to make me stop fucking with you. I got children. Quit being grown men crying all the time. So check this out. Let's keep it on the, what I'm trying to show you here. We off track. I'm telling you about why you guys are wrong. And when I go to digging in y'all ass, you act childish. So like I was saying... There's an electromagnetic Christ, energy man. field affecting the water. If, if gravity is the force that's pulling the water down, like y'all say, how can it be the same fucking force pulling it to the side? It's not the same force. You, I know that, which is why. But well, listen, Craig, I'm going to make a point. My thing is this right here. You comparing electrostatic force to gravity. Is, is baloney, man. That's my point. It's not the same force. And it's not no, even it a, Hold up. No, no, I know that. If you let me... I got to put him in time out again. I'm going I'm to put him in the waiting room every time I talk. And when I finish, he can come back. Fair enough. So check this out, right? The point that I'm making here, if he'll let me finish, is they are saying that they are similar forces. And I'm proving here ain't nothing similar about them. Gravity pulling something down an electrostatic force ain't even a force. It's a feel. It's a feel, not a force. That's what I'm proving. If I'm allowed to speak. See, when a black man go in with his intelligence, you white boys go to playing victim and acting fucking. It's a shame how y'all acting. Yes, and now I'm going to let my mouth get foul because I'm being triggered and I ain't going to hold back because you guys ain't. The rompers ain't. He disrespected my gracious platform where i've allowed you to have a voice take your time get the mic correct okay um i mean it, it, you know <clears throat> to be fair when i was talking earlier your guys were interrupting me loads and and, and i know, stopped I'm, I'm just saying you didn't stop yours yeah. though i stopped i, 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 mine. I don't, I don't have yours, the ability though. to i don't i don't i don't have control yeah you can say so hold like... up rompers let sanchez finish yeah. you know uh, i mean but um anyway no uh so 
you're, you're categorically wrong. Coulomb's law describes the electromagnetic force and and it's we know that it's a force because we can use it to generate electricity and you know using the knowledge of of all of that so just saying that it's baloney doesn't stop coulomb's law being a thing and coulomb's law describes a similar thing to newton's law of gravity where you know the with newton's law of gravity it's the the product of two masses with coulomb's law it's the product of two charges but you know it's the same it's inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them uh, and they even though they describe different things they describe them in a similar way um so when you said that there's no forces that work like gravity you're wrong because electromagnetic ele uh, the electromagnetic force can be described using coulomb's electrostatic law. force electrostatic, electrostatic force, force. Yeah, sorry electrostatic yeah you're right rumpus electrostatic force sorry and um uh, when you said also that gravity only acts in one way, you're wrong. We showed that it acts in multiple ways with, for instance, the Schehelian experiment and the um, and you know the Cavendish experiment. It, it, we we isolate that and see that there's a force acting in a different way than just down. That's what the entire discussion has been about. Me explaining the Schehelian experiment and the Cavendish experiment. Gravity works the same way that we predict it to, and it acts similar. To electrostatics with Coulomb's law, and that's just have you got factual. those formulas? Uh, you had the okay, formulas. Okay, so now Craig, I want to respond to uh, yeah. Craig, uh, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I've, I've, I've got about five sentences out so far, and you've had about. Okay, uh, I I don't give a fuck what you had. If you don't like the way I'm distributing the time on my show, go to somewhere else. You literally said Ma he was going to talk fact, next. M matter of fact, man, uh, let me put him in the background. You're not going to run my shit. If Craig makes an argument against what I said, me and him can go back and forth. This is our pre-debate show. Everybody else is just extras. He, so he when me and Craig is straight. going, so when me, see what I'm saying? The globe heads come. Let's look at the flat earthers. That, that wasn't one of my All guys. of the flat earthers are unmute. And all of the global is trying to run my platform. Guess that, what's going to happen right That wasn't one of right my guys now? just, just saying. But, hey, uh, hey, so check this out, right? I give you the benefit of the doubt on that. It's like they're trying to shield you, Craig. You just made a, a direct argument to what I just said. Why is there another man in between us when we should be going back and forth? Well, I mean, you, you were the one that told me to invite them on, so I, I, I've, I've right, just done that. Right, right. And, 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 but that don't mean they're going to run my show. They're going to no, speak no. when I tell them to. I mean, well, if could I was you, could you give Rumpus a chance to talk? But, uh, if, if that's possible, could could th this ju juncture? Yes, could you I possibly will. Give Don't a I give everybody a chance? Right? But they got to be patient. Don't you think all of these flat earthers want a chance to talk, Craig? Yeah. It, but, Why um, are they just being patient, muted? That's but, what I'm saying. Why do you want your people to be special, man? I, I don't. Everybody's I just, I just waiting want, to talk, you know, but me I, and I've you already spoken, and you're no, running no. right now. Now, Craig, I presented an argument. You responded to it, and now you don't want me to go back and, no, and no, say I'm, nothing I'd else like to what you, you said. Uh, all you I'm don't. Saying is you, that... you want to run. You want to run. No, 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 I know no. what you're saying. No, no, he can give wait. Me a he I'm can not, have patience. When two men are going, oh I tell God, you what, bro. so hard to talk to. This is starting to make me really, the, you know what? I'm going to do a vote right now in the chat room. But I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm not trying to interrupt you. I was just trying to say one thing. I, I, I'm, I'm not been trying to be disrespectful, I promise you. I, I, all I was saying is that I've already spoken to some flat earthers, uh, and I just thought at this point maybe it would be nice if another globe earther could maybe join in the conversation. You know, I'm, I'm not trying no, to be disrespectful. It's not no, one's I want another globe earther in it. But you yeah. want to be able to say what you got to say after that argument and dead it there and now just move on. Okay, That's well, how about running. Uh, no, how about after after That's, you responded? How about then? after I respond to yeah. you, then your globalists get in. That's how the show been going. Yeah, that's what exactly what I said. How about after you do your next thing, right? Um, whatever you're about to say now, could Rumpus please talk next? If, that, if is that okay? Rumpus is being bumped up in line over all the other people that was before him. I'm give I'm actually giving him favoritism right now. I'm just not gonna let him interrupt while me and you in the middle of a spar. This is the way I That's run my show when you ain't even here, though, and you shouldn't be even talking now. You should be letting me make my argument. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not trying to be disruptive. Uh, all, I just all, all agreed I'm, I'm going to let him talk. Yeah. Why are you still talking? I tell you what, man. Debates council. Fuck you. I'm doing hey, all the I'm, I'm trying to be. I'm, I'm not honestly, debating I'm not again. Bro, no, nah, bro, no, nah, bro. This shit ain't hard. It's making me look fucking bad.
What on earth? Like, how triggered can you get? I was being so polite and respectful. Like, I don't think anybody could watch that and think that I was trying to be, you know, disrespectful or anything. I was trying to be as polite and respectful as fucking possible. All right, give me a chant. Give me a sec. Let me just go over to a stream a sec. I, I don't know what to say about that man. Like I, like I, I walking on eggshells talking to him. That that's the way it is. Um, I'm just looking at his chat right now. <clears throat> like I, I don't know what to do. You know where. Uh, People complain about me interrupting and stuff. And when I'm literally not interrupting, I'm just trying to help move the conversation forward. He still got mad at me. I, I, I don't understand. Like, what do I do? Let's see if I can get back in. No. Nope. Um... Uh, I, I guess I guess he's too triggered to actually even let me talk. Like, I, I don't know how polite I can be. I was constantly interrupted from the beginning onwards. Like, is the dude, on, you know, is he on a period or something? Like, I, I, how much did I talk during that, guys? Like, 5% of the fucking time? All right, well, he's cancelling the PPV. Oh well, I guess he he loses out on the money. That that's that's his that's his problem, you know. Oh well. Yes, Rumpus, I I heard him say that it's making him look bad. I I heard him say that when I've been as polite as fucking possible, and he is just a power hungry like. Oh well. Well, I guess that's that then, and there won't be a PPV. Who you know? There we go. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> uh, I've done done a lot of streaming and stuff lately, so uh, oh well, I guess I can go to bed early tonight. <clears throat> so here's the thing about my new episode of Flurf's Are Idiots that I've been doing. Um, I hate it. <clears throat> the, the 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 remake that uh, of episode one that I've done. I've spent literally months trying to do this, and it's given me this fucking this block about the the thing and. Um, I, I, I kind of finished the episode and I fucking hate it. I hate it. Um, and I can't release something that I'm not happy with. Um, <clears throat> so what I think I'm going to do is, is what I've done. I'm going to kind of release up for my members and patrons and stuff because it, you know, it's not a proper release and, you know, I just want you to kind of see what I've been working on and I'm going to kind of do a bunch of reshoots and make it better because I'm not releasing something that I feel is, um, you know, not worthy of it. Oh. 
So just so you guys know, uh, there is more Flourish the Idiot stuff coming, but I I want I want it to be good. Uh, and if it's not good, I'm not going to release it. Simple as that. Um, <laughs> Rodding Team Queen Tika, member for 33 months, uh, says, um, well, didn't see anything, but thank you. Uh, and then Kat Katliana Verin, who's been a member for four months, who donated a lot of memberships, and she was awesome, says, I reject your reality and substitute my own. Absolutely. Castillo Fury became a new member. Welcome to Scrappers. Thank you very much. Welcome, you awesome person, you. War Boss for 10 Canadian dollars says, Zoggin's sad. I had to miss this one, but someone told the Canadians, boot me and the boys, and now we've got troopers kicking me down me doors. Thanks for the scrap, Craig. Wah! Um, <laughs> Rach Boss says, for $5 Australian, Earth is a spear. <laughs> he says spear fucking lot. Oh, man. One second, just requ responding to someone in this. You like how, um, what I like is how he pulled the fucking race card acted like a triggered little princess and tried to fucking blame me. You know? Like, it's ridiculous. Oh, guys, thank you for the support that you've given me, though. <laughs> um, guy with bearded lizard for four ninety nine dollars says, Bro Sanchez wouldn't have nearly as many followers if people weren't entertained by buffoonery. Jeffy Combs for $2 says, When was your last super chat, Greg? Um, just, just then. Thank you very much, buddy. A Tim Pryor for five dollars says, "I've been watching five minutes. He's barely let anyone talk. Yeah, no one else really got to talk. He asked for me to bring people on, and then got triggered when people came on, even though his people over talked to me fucking constantly, <clears throat> and then complained that I can't control his people when I was muted. You know, I, I don't have that ability." MB for two pounds says, uh, "Face palm protection, renewal money, ye gads. Thank you, buddy." Charlie Welch for two dollars says, "Ranches." JPP3035 dollars. I vote we cancel Bro Sanchez. 100% forget he exists. Um, uh, he's so true. He's so fucking hard to talk to. Graham Price, member for 38 months, says, Surely don't debate him again after that, lol. I don't think he should get it. Second best Bob, who's been a member for nine months, says he's going mad on this channel after rage quitting. I know. He kicked me out, rage quit, acted like we were the problem, and weird. GFE Combs for $2 says Rage Kick. Glover for Life for $2 says Bro Sanchez and his group are racist. Yet that's not the first time they pulled the race card on me. Um, MB for £2 says Baby Sanchez makes himself look bad. He needs no help. That is fucking true. OG Yeti $5 says Bro Sanchez made himself look bad. Spends the whole time crying. Yeah, absolutely. Oh no, it's Andy. Member for four months says don't release it then. Sometimes things fail. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I'm not going to release the, the episode yet. I'm going to redo it and then release it. The intro's great. I'm keeping that, but the rest of it, I fucking hated. Um, Turing Test 2 for £25. Thank you very much. Says, I'm happy to pay not to hear any more bros BS. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I mean, it's a shame that I'll miss out on, on, on the payday from it. Um, but, you know, uh, I was just taking flatter for his money, so I didn't really care. Um, M Scheider 49 for $5 says, next on FDFE, Baby Sanchez throws a tantrum again. He threw a big fucking tantrum, didn't he? What a baby. I'm just going to comment on him. Dude, you didn't need to act like that. I was being super polite. Thanks for the fun. Well, there we go. Guess that's the end of Brother Sanchez. Sorry, guys. Um, I hope you guys had a, a good evening. Um, <laughs> Dora at Naku for two euros says, I joined at the right time. It seems missing it all. <laughs> um, I wonder what happened to the people that have already paid for the, the, the pay-per-view. Hmm. 
Eric Pendlin, $5 says, I will pay to hear Craig speak. I will not pay to hear Sanchez speak. Thank you very much for your support. I really do appreciate it. Grover for life, $2. Please never let Sanchez rep black people again. Um, I, I, I don't think he's a, a representation for black people. <laughs> well, if he wants a PPV with me, he's going to have to apologize for the way he's just acted. Uh, Dev Lyrics, what happened was um, he rage quit um, because he didn't get to talk 100% of the time, basically. Um, well, that was fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's change it to Cry Baby Sanchez Rage Quits. and cries and cries about looking bad there we go that's a decent title uh demosa 999 says sanchez is as much a rep for black people as mallory is a rep for furries lol <laughs> yeah rumper says he yeah i was exaggerating he only wanted to speak 98.5 percent of the time jesus christ man like, have you ever known someone so difficult and controlling to talk to? Yes, I do tend to interrupt sometimes, but I wasn't interrupting there. I never got a fucking chance to talk. It's ridiculous. Oh, man. Well, you know what? Maybe if we pretend that airplanes in, in the night sky are, are, are like shooting stars. Rage bought five dollars. Bitch made. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? Should be wishing for a brain right now, brain right now, brain right now. Good morning. These words come with a storm warning. Better batten down the hatches, grab some matches, and brace yourself. For a long day of misery, YouTube has given me the power to reach up into the sky and show you all that we live on the ball. I bring you science that's comprehensible. Your view is indefensible. You're reprehensible. Go on, Mr. Sensible. When I was young, I never thought I would be here to see this. A pile of random monsters dressed up as bulls. Your ignorance will be the death of us all. Like running head first, full speed into a wall. You could always read a book by a telescope, set it up and take a photo of the moon or just be a buffoon. I send you in a balloon onto the stratosphere on page three. <laughs> You're a few fry short of a happy meal. You're dumber than a box of hair. The wheel's spinning but the hamster's dead. And you're as smart as bait You forgot to pay your brain bill You're missing a few buttons on the remote control 24 cents short of a quarter You're surfing in Nebraska You're as bright as Alaska in December And you fell out of your family tree You don't have all the cornflakes in one box You got an IQ of two and it takes three to grunt The elevator doesn't go all the way up And there's a vacancy on the top floor your antenna doesn't pick up all the channels You're several nuts short of a fruit cake Yo Mr. Cake. Sensible, calm down, don't go too hard You don't need the artillaryian flirts in your backyard You're a man of science, poison grace Mage who did everything to wipe the grins off the face so Nathan, Nathan, get away from those kids The world is not flat and it doesn't have a lip Recognise the differences between a textbook and a bible And control yourself, lay off your slander and your lie. So you're a bunch of knobs poisoning the well of the youth Spreading lies that you like to claim as knowledge and truth Stop spreading fresh bullshit like the butter on your bread Maybe your musical assault knocks some sense into your head I hope one day you'll hear these lyrics and smile And you realise you used to be a 40 year old child Now it's time to wake up, open your eyes and see And acknowledge the existence Ready! You're a few clowns short of a circus Your phone is off the hook Your sewing machine is out of thread You're all foam and no beer You 
don't have all your doubts and one leash Your intellect rivaled only by garden tools There's no grain in your silo And your skylight leaks a little Your belt doesn't go through all the loops You couldn't pour water out of a boot Without instructions on the hill Your slinky's kinked And you're proof that evolution can work in reverse A few feathers short of a whole duck one fruit and we were short in of the full bowl. Planes in the night sky are like shooting stars. Should be wishing for a brain right now, brain right now. Well, I'm still standing while you swing and fling and feces talking shit just like the human centipede. You've got the mind of a chip, and I'm here to expedite your shore leave. Because I'm a seaman, but not the kind I writ up on your mom's gums. I'm the kind that sailed submarines and fired guns. I could float a boat across the ocean with my eyes closed. So I could navigate the globe with a compass and a bag of sausage rolls. Well, all you can do is nibble on your toes. I smack you with the hose that you call the water level, sit and swivel. You nasal gaze in Muppet, you can stuff it harder than the wallet stuffed by Warren Buffett. And I don't care about your sources unless you're serving them. And I don't care about your lines unless you're curving them. Now step away from me, you're sucking up my oxygen with the vacuum where your brain should be, you dumb fuck. Well, uh, I hope you in enjoyed watching um, Brother Sanchez get extremely triggered whenever anyone tried to utter a word. Um, be um, hypocritical about interrupting. He interrupted me every time I fucking talked. Literally every fucking time. Um, <laughs> and I really don't think there's going to be a PPV debate now because of the way that he acted. Uh, it, you know, literally, I couldn't have been more polite in, in that. So I don't know what to tell you, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. In fact, I'll see you on Monday for, you know, fun in MMM. Um, and I'll keep you updated on the, uh, the, the Flurfs of Idiots situation. I'm, 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 instead of focusing so hard on the, remake of episode one i'm just going to do the next one next couple that i had planned and kind of revisit that once i've got past this stupid block that that's given me okay so uh look out for that and also um uh, maybe tomorrow i'll release a short from global mum we'll see how it goes uh in the meantime remember stupidity is not a right fight the flag fight the flag fight the flag fight the flag